Stylized VFX can make the difference between good and bad animation. For this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an energy ball completely in Blender. Starting out with the core, add a sphere to the scene, then go to Material Preview and open a Shader Editor in the viewport. We'll begin with our first material for the core. Replace the principled BSDF Shader node with an Emission node. Then add a Voronoi Texture node with a Color Ramp node and play with the sliders until you get more black values than white. That's because what's black will be hidden and what's white will be the energy. Also to give a twist effect on the shader, add a simple deform modifier to the sphere and on the twist option change the axis to Z and the angle to 360 degrees. The goal of the Voronoi texture is to create a swirling energy around the nucleus of the energy ball which we'll create next. Add a layer weight node with a color ramp node and control shift click on the color ramp node to view it in isolation mode and start playing with the sliders. I've added two more sliders so that I can use two to create the nucleus and two to create a rim of light around it. Since the layer weight node works based on the geometry of the mesh, hence the red header, I added a subdivision modifier to the sphere so I can smooth how it looks. Play with the sliders until you get a nucleus and the rim light that satisfies you. Once you're done, mix both the layer weight's color ramp with the Voronoi texture's color ramp value with a mix color node, and then select linear light as your blend mode. I would encourage you to experiment with other blend modes, you may find something you prefer, but after experimenting, linear light did it for me. Once that was done, you can add in the colors in each color ramp node. To animate the swirling energy, add the expression hashtag frame forward slash 48 to any one of the rotation values in the raw noise mapping node. And finally, to give a bit more life to the core, I added a single keyframe to the blend value of the layer weight node so that I can add a noise modifier to it in the graph editor. I play with the scale and strength settings to ensure to keep it smooth, I kind of want the core to pulsate a little bit, kind of like a heartbeat. Now that we're done with the core, we'll get to the flare, which is very simple. It will represent some fading energy around the core of the ball. So we'll begin by duplicating the sphere and scaling it up a bit, then we'll duplicate the shader material as well. Delete all of the nodes except the emission shader and then add a mix shader, a transparent shader and a wave texture with its own color ramp node. Also, do not forget to delete the simple deform modifier, it won't be necessary for the flare. Also, before moving on, make sure to enable the alpha blend mode and the material shader if you're using Eevee as your render engine. Then, adjust the wave scale, gaps, and distortion settings. And when you're satisfied, animate the phase offset control of the wave texture node by adding the hashtag frame forward slash minus four expression. You can add whatever value you want to control the speed. The faster you want it, the smaller the value, the slower you want it, the higher the value. For example, you would put something like hashtag frame forward slash minus 12, it'll be three times slower. We'll duplicate the flare sphere and make it a little bit bigger as well to create the sparks. We'll duplicate the shader as well and delete all of the nodes except the emission, transparent, and mix shader nodes. Add a Voronoi texture with its color ramp node as well as adding a texture coordinate and mapping node to it to have more control over the animation. Make the color ramps blending mode the constant and reverse the black and white values. This way, it'll create sharp patterns like sparks. Adjust the way you want the sparks to look like by playing with the scale values and once you're satisfied, change the Voronoi textures 3D to 4D to add the W value. If your sparks look all messed up, just click on normalize just underneath it. Same as with the phase offset animation of the flare, add the hashtag frame forward slash expression to the W value. I put in the speed value to 48. This time what we'll do differently is making the sparks animation less fluid and more choppy to give it a sharper and more sudden look. To accomplish that, right click on the purple W value and select open drivers editor. This should show the animation curve from your expression. Now if it doesn't appear, make sure that you have the appropriate mesh selected, so in this case the spark sphere, and the appropriate node selected in the shader editor, so the Voronoi texture node. Then the curve will appear. Click on the modifiers and add a stepped interpolation modifier. This will chop up the curve and therefore the animation. You can play with the step size value to adjust the speed,
And once that's done, there's one final cherry to put on top. Go back onto your shader editor and add a second mix shader node and second transparent node. This will allow us to control the opacity of the sparks to add an extra layer of spontaneity. So we'll add a value node and connect it to the factor socket. Simply add one keyframe to the value node's value, and in the graph editor, add one noise modifier and adjust its settings, primarily increase its strength, and finally add a stepped interpolation modifier right after it to add some choppiness. And there you go, you got yourself an energy ball entirely made in Blender. I would encourage you to play and experiment with different values and nodes to achieve a personalized result. That's always the best way to learn. In the meantime, I'll go work on my next tutorial, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get to them as fast as I can. Peace.